Uh, we still have some more stories for you. And to begin with, detectives at Kasarani Police Station in Nairobi have launched a probe to unravel circumstances under which a city socialite, Saranjogu, met her death while at a party with her friends. Investigators say they are working hard to determine if the deceased committed suicide by jumping from the second floor of an apartment or she was pushed by friends who are at the party. And as our crimes reporter, Franklin Wala, reports, Njogu's family is fully convinced that someone who was present at the party is responsible for the death of their kin. A distress phone call leads us to Kasarani within Nairobi County. On arrival, we meet with Saranjogu's family at the Kasarani police station, where the family is seeking answers on what transpired leading to the death of the 25-year-old city socialite. <laughs> It is alleged Saran Jogu committed suicide by jumping from the second floor of this apartment within seasons in Kasarani. Allegations her parents have dismissed. This incident was reported on 25th June 2024. According to witnesses, Sarah was found unconscious on the ground floor of the apartment. She was rushed to a nearby facility and later transferred to the Kenyatta National Hospital where she was admitted in ICU until her death. So, During the fateful night, Sarah was having a night party with her friends in the Said house. Those who were present say Sarah walked out of the party a few minutes to midnight and never returned. A few minutes later, she was discovered on the ground floor in a sorry state. Her family is fully convinced one of those present at the party might have assaulted her with a blunt object on the head. The family alleged their daughter was assaulted, carried outside and left to die outside the apartment. Investigators have had a hard task to unravel the truth behind all the theories under investigation. Already a security guard and three possible suspects have recorded statements with the police. <laughs> Police recovered alcoholic drinks and bank inside the house where the party was taking place. Three suspects, two ladies and a man were arrested and later released on a cash bail and Jogu's family is worried they might interfere with the investigations. Investigators have confiscated their mobile phones and that of the deceased, which will have to undergo a forensic analysis to establish crucial details into the sudden death of the socialite. It is another complex crime being investigated by detectives at the Kasarani police station. For now, investigators say they cannot determine if this was a suicide or a homicide because crucial details are yet to be probed. Franklin Wala, Citizen TV.